In this video, I'll show you how to use a command bar button using JavaScript to navigate to a specific web page. The web page can be an externally hosted web page or maybe you can internally reference a web resource uh, which is basically an HTML file. Okay, so I'm going to show you both of this option. So, so the goal is basically once you are inside a record, so I'm, I have this model driven app and if I'm going inside say one of the record, I will create a command bar button. Uh, so on click of it, it will navigate to an external website or second option is if I click on it, it will navigate to an internal web resource. Okay, so the web resource can be an HTML file showing some record. So that's a goal. So for that, what we need to do is like I've created this model driven app and then within this model driven app, I've edited this model driven app. And if once you edit it, you go into the command bar and choose a command bar to edit. So this is the main form. So you will be presented in the screen. Now, as a part of the series of exercise for JavaScript uh, in command bar, I have created the simple section. So it has a lot of groups over here. So I'm going to continue with this section. So I'm going to call the section as a navigate. Okay. So I'll create a group. Uh, I'll have selected this uh, split button and I'll just say new group and this time then the new group I'll name it as uh, navigation okay uh, and then I will add a couple of commands so you select this navigation group and you add a command new command okay and similarly you again select the navigation group and click on new command because we are going to write two commands now one command is pointing to an external site okay and uh, second one is uh, for internal uh, say web resource and we can put uh, whatever icon we want so i'll just pick some icon so world maybe just put this and external site i'll just use an icon and i'll pick up this okay so external site and internal web resource now external site is basically pointing to an external website so I have this website girishupal.com so you can point to any website so the use case is basically to pointing the user to the help site okay so if you want to do that you can do that uh, using this particular uh, uh, navigation link external uh, to the uh, global internet okay now internal web resource will point to internal web resource file so we, we need to write uh, two commands basically uh, in the javascript so we are going to run a JavaScript. So for both of them, so we'll just say run JavaScript and I've already uploaded a library. Now uh, I'll show you how to upload a library if you haven't, or if you uh, have already a library, you can append command to that JavaScript resource. So I'll just select this and I'll just say run JavaScript and select the library. Now, this is the JS file, which I've already uploaded. Now uh, let's assume that this is, there's nothing in it. Okay, so this is a JavaScript file. Now we are going to write a function, couple of functions. So the first function is open external website. So I'll just say open URL. Okay, so this is the function. And the second one, we are going to write function open web resource. So this is the two function we are going to write. Open URL is very much simple. You need not do anything. It's just a simple command. You just say xrn dot navigation dot open url and you put in double quotes the url which you want to open make sure that you put a uh, proper uh, well-formed url so it's uh, with the protocol so i'll just say https colon slash com. and the next parameter next parameter is basically an object so object is written in the curly braces okay the object is basically specifying what should be the height what should be the width okay so maybe i'll just say height is uh, 700 pixels okay and comma and width is maybe 700 pixels okay so this is like you can pick and choose whatever height or width you want you can make it dynamic depending on the real estate available for the application so this is a simple command to open the external website now for a web resource again it's similar so you just say xrm dot navigation so i'll just say xrm dot navigation dot open 
instead of url we have open web resource so we have this open web resource and from here uh, again it's on that similar term you need to specify what is a web resource internal name and uh, how you want to display okay so i'll just copy this object over here height and width and that's it now actual website is good because we already know that this website exists but what about the web resource okay so for the web resource what we need to do is we need to first create a web resource okay so how do we create a web resource you could you can go ahead inside a solution so i've already created one solution and you can create a new web resource okay so new more web resource and you can go ahead and then point to the web resource okay so the web resource uh, can be of different options okay so file type as you see over here it can be js it can be css but we are interested in html okay now we need to create an html file so in order to create an html file i'll open a new tab new file and i'll call this as uh, maybe girish uh, sales table okay dot html so this is the file which i am creating girish sales table and i'll say create table and this is html file now i don't have time to author an html so what i'll do is like i'll go to uh, w3 schools and find an html table over here so i'll select html table and this is one example so i'll click on try it yourself and this is how the table should look like okay so i'll just copy the code so i'll just copy the code from here and i will put, paste it in my uh, html file okay so this is a simple html file and uh, i'll just change this code to girish sales table 2024 okay table yep and i'll just save this okay so this is a simple girish sales table html file now this is the js which we have written so we need to upload both these things okay so first let's go one by one first upload the web resource so what we are going to do we are going to upload the web resource so i'll just say add uh, instead of say new here i'll say more web resource choose the file the file name is girish sales table.html click on open girish sales table put the same description click on save now it will load once it is over here so now as you see over here this is important cr1bf underscore js command bar is the internal name for js command bar but similarly for the html table which you have uploaded is glt underscore girish sales table now this is the value this is the name which we want so this is the internal name glt underscore girish sales table so we go over here go to the command and we just say g l t underscore garish sales table okay and our javascript is now complete so g l t underscore garish sales table so what we're going to do uh, for the javascript if you haven't already uploaded you upload it but in my case i've already uploaded the existing javascript so i'll just overwrite this javascript okay and click on save and i'll take both these resources now okay and once it is saved i'll just publish this so we have created a web resource which is an html file uh, and we're going to call that in the uh, click of a button okay so going back to here uh, in the command bar editor for external site what is the function name so the function name is open url so i'll just copy the open url function name and paste it over here make sure that you selected the right library and for internal web resource the function name is open web resource come here select open web resource and that's it okay so these are the couple of things which we have created so i'll just click on save and publish and let's see if the changes which we made uh, is actually reflected in the model driven app or not and if it works as intended so currently it is saving this information uh, it might take a while for this information to publish as we have a lot of javascript code uh, within the uh, execution of a command bar i'll just close this 
and once this is done let's say we are still publishing parts of your app i can click on play and it will start loading the application uh, once that message disappears uh, then we should be able to refresh our screen again and then see the uh, reflected changes so just to summarize till it is published uh, we have written a javascript javascript to basically open an external website uh, this is the command and we have written a javascript to open a web resource the web resource is again an html file but then this is like internal to your application and you have hard coded that value within your system you have explicitly uploaded the web resource file uh, and then we want that web resource file to be opened so i'll just click on uh, we have clicked on play and if i go if i just do a hard refresh again control f5 and navigate to a record so i'll go into the plutonium record and here uh, i'll say all javascript this is the split button and i can see external site so if i click on external site then as you see over here it pops up a new window and then it this is the size the size is 700 700 because we have set this and we can expand this you know it is just for the initial load but we can expand this uh, website uh, window uh, and then we can just navigate okay so this is how you basically use that external site uh, to open an external website uh, and it opens in a different window similarly now we have created a web resource so if we want to open that we just go into navigation and click on internal web resource and it will start loading again in a different window but this time the content is not coming from an external website but then it is coming from a web resource which is basically a html file uh, and then you are rendering that content so this is useful if you have some internal documentation for your application and if you do not want to use internet for that you can document your own help file or instructions guide or some uh, disclaimer documents and then you can display it as a static component for your users to consume so that's it folks this is how you basically use uh, the command uh, within the command bar by authoring some javascript and uh, executing a couple of commands uh, which will help you to open an external website or open a web resource thanks for watching